Oh boy, do I have a news bomb for you ladies and gentlemen. No, you are not looking at our upcoming April Fool's event, although this vehicle pretty much fits into any uh, April Fool's joke event uh, if you first look at it. But we are actually going to talk about an American uh, mini branch coming into this game, American heavy tank mini branch coming into the game, the Yoh Tanks, uh, Y-O-H, I don't know how to pronounce it 100% correctly, I'm just going to say Yoh because it sounds quite uh, sexy. So, Developer Diaries um, article was released literally 15 minutes ago, guys. I am I'm improving, I'm improving, I'm quite fast this time. Uh, so, let's quickly take a look what I have to say and let's look at this Developer Diaries video as well, which basically sums up everything and uh, we can... Uh, uh, we can um, add our own commentary on it and on the top of that uh, I think everything makes sense now about this vehicle as well Astron Rex 105 more about that after we are done watching uh, this video so have you heard of the Yoh tanks before the American HL Yoh company introduced these tank uh, concepts uh, with non-standard configurations uh, in the 1950s each project had rather unusual shapes and unique mechanics 100% <laughs> shape is unique, mechanic unique, we'll see, uh, but they have uh, never uh, actually made it into production. Nevertheless, they all had great potential. How feasible were they? Well, we are going to send five standard and one premium vehicle to the Super Test to give them a spin on the battlefields. So, let's just check it out ladies and gentlemen together for the first time i have not to watch this i have uh, i don't have any information about this i have not heard anything about that so we're going to do everything together let's see what they have to say the vehicle fleet and world of tanks never stops growing in the near future several american vehicles with brand new mechanics will be sent to the super test their name yo tanks yo 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 tanks. By the way, has anyone ever heard anything about those? In the 1950s, yes. the American okay. HL Yo company introduced tank concepts with non-standard configurations. Each project had rather unusual shapes. <laughs> one of the main features of the vehicles was a reserve track that could be used if the main one was destroyed. This is Aston Rex, right? They were never produced, but each tank was quite feasible, at least as a prototype. It was only a matter of time until such extraordinary vehicles appeared in World of Tanks, and they will be sent for testing very soon. The transition to new vehicles will start from the T1 heavy tank. Overall... Ooh, so we're going to get five. I thought only tier 8, 9, and 10, but we actually start from tier 6. The Bolak tank, uh, M2Y, M3Y, M4Y, uh, sorry, M6Y, and M5Y. Why did they do that again? Why did they do that again? It's like the same with the Udus medium tanks. Um, this one is bigger number than that one. It doesn't make sense, but oh well. But six tanks. Trouble vehicles and one tier 8 premium tank. The first among the newcomers is the Paulak tank. This is a transitional tier 6 vehicle with no unique mechanics. Mm -hmm. However, the tank boasts a unique appearance and it already gives you a taste of the whole branch. It's Very sort of a mix between a classic armor. heavy tank and a medium tank. It also packs a fast firing 90mm gun with good elevation and depression angles. The M2Y awaits you at Tier 7. The first tank in the branch with the new reserve tracks mechanic. It's similar to the M48 in appearance, but it incorporates many original design ideas. An unusual crew placement meant the front of the turret could be narrowed, thus improving its protection. <coughs> the following tanks developed this idea. Did you see? It had tracks Tier inside eight. ranks. The M3Y. You see, pay attention, right there. Tracks inside, uh, tracks. Here, the experimental engineering is even more obvious. Okay. The frontal projection of the turret is small thanks to its elongated shape. The front hull design resembles the T110E5. The armor is solid. It's enough to withstand hits from vehicles of the same tier or lower. Its 10 degrees of gun depression will be very useful when taking advantage of terrain Holy. irregularities. 
the more the hell down drink the m6y iterates on the ideas of its predecessors you get to be fucking kidding me. your attention is immediately drawn to the elongated shape of the oscillating turret it oh, has yeah. additional features in the form of two cupolas that will definitely attract enemy shells on the other hand its turret and hull armoring is more than adequate in terms of appearance and gameplay, the M6Y is almost a top-tier vehicle. But we all understand what oh this is all about. Oh my god. Tier 10, the M5Y. A living example of what can happen when you ask too many what-ifs. The narrow, elongated turret conceals many surprises. Its armor is adequate, but not wow. particularly impressive. But here's what's important. The shape of the frontal projection is designed to deflect shells wow. like ping pong balls. And it's quite hard to hit such a narrow turret, even from medium range. I mean... The M5Y also has something with which to respond. Its 120mm gun with great elevation depression angles means it can hold its own against many opponents one-on-one. -on -one. The top tier yo that crests over a hill... How... Oh my... How annoying! Is this tank going to be to fight against? It's like looking at me already, saying, Hey, Des, you're fucked. Looks a bit like who knows what. Seems like that's its character. And we haven't even talked about the reserve tracks yet. But that's for later. Oh boy. First, okay. the Tier 8 Premium <laughs> Tank. Considering the appearance of its researchable brethren, the M4Y actually looks a mm. bit too normal. But this okay. first impression is misleading. So the it is not awesome, is right. just as non-conformist as the other Yo tanks. Its hull resembles that of the T110E5 with good armor and a distinctive skirt, but the turret is something else. First, it's cylindrical, which is not uncharacteristic of American vehicles. Because of that, the turret is protected equally in the frontal projection, even if you rotate it a little to the side. Secondly, it's framed by a rather thick shield, and despite what you may think, it's not a screen. The shield and the turret are one and the same. That means if you hit the shield and penetrate the armor, mm, it will cause okay. damage. There is no way a shell penetrates the shield without causing any damage. The weak point of the structure is the commander's cupola, which sits on top. It's rather large, but it's not easy to hit from a distance. Another Hold questionable area is the turret's rear that sticks out from under the shield. There is less armor there than in places protected by the shield, of course. Since the turret oscillates independently from the shield, there is a notch under the gun. This is a potential weak point, as there is less armor here than on the main part of the turret. But this small drawback is easily outweighed by the vehicle's advantages. The gun has great elevation depression angles, allowing it to take advantage of terrain yeah, irregularities. Minus 10 all around. In this position, the weak point is almost invisible, and the M4Y itself is very capable. Boom. And most importantly, like most vehicles in the branch, this premium has a unique mechanic. Let me hear that. Reserve, Reserve tracks. tracks are a completely fresh take on familiar game mechanics. In battle, it often happens that your track gets destroyed. You repair it, but you then become immobilized right away. As a result, you lose Ooh. a lot of hit points or even get destroyed. The Yo tanks are not immune to such an outcome, but they have an ace up their sleeve. Or rather, in their suspension. The new American tanks have a pair of smaller tracks in addition to the main ones. If you look closely at the tank, you can see them on the rear rollers. Those uh -huh. are the reserve tracks. If the front <laughs> roller gets hit and the main track is destroyed, the vehicle doesn't stop. It can still continue ah. moving. However, its movement speed <laughs> Hello, is reduced a little. Vehicles. The initial super test settings <laughs> decrease it by 30%. Okay. The destroyed track remains on the ground and returns to its place when repaired. It's a game formality, just like the ability to instantly repair a track on any other vehicle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> if you lose another track oh on the Yo tank, God. you lose another 30% of speed. Those things are but going to be the most annoying thanks to their code. To immobilize the vehicle completely, exactly. you have to destroy at least one reserve track, in addition to the main one. In this case, the tank will come to a stop and wait for repair. 
Repairing them also has nuances. The reserve track is repaired first. The repair time is not final on the super test and will probably be less than the repair time of the main track. As soon as the reserve track is repaired, the repair of the main track begins. The vehicle can drive at this point, but a penalty is added to the repair time. If the tank remains stationary, there will be no uh, penalty, and the main track will continue to be repaired at the standard speed. Also, a repair kit will repair all tracks at once. After all of the above, one might think that immobilizing a yo tank is an event on its own. But actually, it can be achieved with a single shell if it hits the reserve track. The easiest way to do it is to shoot at the drive wheel from the side, on which both tracks are mounted. The shell must okay. cause enough damage to destroy both the main track and the reserve one. A similar result can be achieved with a precise shot at the idler of the main track with a subsequent hit to the reserve track. Also, don't forget that splash damage from an artillery HE shell can destroy both tracks without hitting the tank directly. Okay, that makes it uh, more, a bit more better. Players should take this into account and try to hide the weak point. A bit better, I would say. But reserve still tracks will potentially very save you if the enemy decides to focus fire on your suspension. The ability to roll back behind a rock or a corner yeah. of a building like where it, your track is destroyed exactly gives you situation. an extra chance to save yourself. At this point, some viewers might be thinking they can leave the repair kit in the garage. And that's not such a crazy thought. With a reserve track, you always have room for error. Yes, you can lose a track, even two. What's the difference if you have two more? However, you shouldn't rush to conclusions about the repair kit. At the very least, it repairs other important vehicle modules. A Never leave repair kit home. Crew skills, equipment, consumables, and directives that affect repair time of other modules also improve the repair time of both tracks. And to make it easier to follow, all vehicles now have a new characteristic, suspension repair time. The Yo tanks will have two values, one for the reserve track and one for the main one. Awesome. Now we have repair time in the game, the rain resistance numbers, gun hidden soft stats, all those things need to be in the game 10 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Wargaming, actually. No, this message is to Wargaming. Those things need to be in the game 10 years ago, because they actually make or break the game. I'm actually going to make an episode about that uh, in the near future, showcasing identical gun stats in the garage, but one tank is just 10 times better than the other because of the soft stats we don't see in the garage. Okay, a little mini rent. When hovering the cursor, you will see what affects this parameter and how. We talked about the principles behind the reserve tracks, but there are still many questions regarding balance. Which track should be repaired faster? The reserve or the main one? <clears throat> what should be the speed penalty? <clears throat> is 30% too much or too little? How much should the main track repair be slowed down upon movement? Only the super test will give us the answers. We will test different ways to implement the mechanics, and we will start with the premium vehicle. Mm -hmm. Then the settings will affect the tier 10 vehicle, and after that, the remainder of the branch. The Yo tanks are completely unique wow. vehicles that will become a full-fledged wow. part okay. of World of Tanks in the future. Make sure you follow the news. After will the super do. test, there will be more information about the American heavies that we can't wait to share with you. Good luck on the battlefield. Ooh. American heavies that we can't wait. After, After the, the super test, there will be more information about the American super heavies. Test, there will be more information about the American that we can't wait to share with you. Okay, guys, now this thing already is going to be crazy annoying to take out and now you have to focus so much more to simply track that guy with a single shot or with two shots you know if you use improved hardening you can't even destroy that guy with a single shot from 490 alpha damage you know if you use um, if it can carry the uh, uh, suspension durability uh, the field modification as well then it has extra things uh, wow, okay, so this tank basically has gun depression, it has, um, uh, ooh, uh, can we, can we sneak our way into some, uh, 
Can we sneak our way into some stats, some extra stats? No, they're hiding everything. Ooh, smart. Uh, okay, so let's one see. One for the reserve track and one for the main one. What can I when see? When hovering the cursor, you will see uh, what affects points, this parameter 2300 and how. Did you see, right? We talked about air time. Yeah, 2380 hit points, 250. No, what is that? This is E5. Ah, this is E5 the boring. tanks will have two values. One for the reserve Yeah, track. they're hiding everything about this vehicle for now. I see. Wow. Okay, so yo tanks. Yo, yo tanks. Yo tanks. Uh, however you say that. Uh, I had no idea about this mechanic. I had no idea. I had no information about this vehicle uh, that they are even thinking about making anything like that. And now this is quite a bomb indeed. Gun seems to be the standard gun. You know, the fireball seems to be quite standard. But um, where was this? Like this? <laughs> this scene. Yo, the this scene scares me already. So, ladies and gentlemen, yo, thanks. Let me know what you think about him in the comment section down below. I thought this makes sense. Um, I thought it makes sense for them to add uh, Aston Rex uh, into the line because it kind of looks the same. You know, they announced the Primo vehicle already. Uh, the upcoming Primo vehicle, Aston Rex, uh, you know, a couple months ago already actually. But uh, seems like it is still not coming. Uh, uh, so let's just wait a bit longer, I guess. Anyway, developer diaries episodes about this. Honestly, let me know what you think about that. Pretty crazy. Uh, how crazy it's going to be. They said only Superdest will uh, decide that. Hopefully not, because Superdest, uh, like what has come out from Superdest, has been extremely unbalanced so many times. Public test, sandbox test, where we are actually able to test it out and give our hon honest feedback. This is where, hopefully, uh, we decide how those uh, tanks are going to look like. Holy balls. Okay. I get you next time. Stay awesome, stay sexy, take care, and bye.